being here on today. We thank God for the present. Those are not here because I believe so it's good to be in the house of the Lord. This Lord's day. We ask that you would sing along with us in our opening selection in the beauty of the holiness. Bless us all, Lord. Bless every minister. 
sister bringing you a word. Bless this church, Lord. Bless every member of this congregation. Bless us all, Lord, and keep us, Lord. We can't do without you. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. <laughs>
giving us the strength amen, to gather on this smallest day. Amen. amen. So we're thankful for our deacons that are present, our mothers, amen. Pressures on the doors, serving out the musicians, and all that make up the congregation. So we thank God for your being here. Psalm said, This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, yes. Let us rejoice and be glad in the Amen. The Lord has allowed us to enter into a new day. And so we are grateful for this new day. New day gives us new opportunities. Do better than we did the day before. Yeah. Amen. To worship Him. Yeah. To pray Him. Yes. Yes. So we're grateful Thank for this Lord. opportunity. There's so many of our uh, friends and uh, brothers who, mm -hmm. amen, uh, don't have this opportunity. And so we thank God uh, that He afforded us opportunity to come together. It's good to be in the house yes, it is. of the Lord. Yes, it is. Uh, yes. Our lesson was this morning, our house. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. But we can celebrate with the Lord's uh, people. Yes. Amen. Our sisters and brothers. Yes. Amen. Our congregational hymn Glory to his name. That says you say along with us. Amen. Glory to his name. <laughs>
comfort, when we are in sorrow, and in our strength, in our times of weakness. Right. Someone said the comfort and the keeper yeah. in a lonely hour. Yeah. Yeah. The name is Jesus. Yeah. And his name that you can always look to yeah. is a name that you can depend upon. Trust in his name. Amen. And certainly we thank God for the name. Thank God for the authority that we have given to the believer to use that name, to call upon that name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody said he's my everything. Yes, he is. Even in life's storms. Amen. He is the calmer of all of our Amen. The raging seas. Amen. Amen. Nobody like Nobody Jesus. That song said, I searched all over. All right, come on now. I can't find nobody. Yeah. Nobody like Nobody. Him. Thank you, Lord. And we are here to worship him yes. Oh, yes. on this morning. Yes. Amen. 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 We gather to worship yes. him. Amen. Amen. No individual. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, we didn't come to worship the building. All right. We didn't come to worship yes. God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are truly blessed. Yes, we are. Amen. Amen. Yes. We are blessed. Yes, we are. Thank you. Some of us, as we sit here, have conditions about our bodies. Yes. We're still blessed. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. When we think about some people we know, mm -hmm. and many we don't know, there's not a Yes. Amen. You stand. Amen. Not able to speak. Not able to do anything for themselves. Can't feed themselves. Bathe themselves and clothe themselves. And if you can do those things, you ought to know that you're blessed. Amen. Amen. Serve with thank for what the Lord has done. Yes. Amen. He's been good. Yes, he has. Worthy yes, yes, for all of you. Yes, Lord. Serve with thank you for all of you that are thank here you. today. Just pray to God. Amen. Amen. This is the hour of prayer. And so many. Of our sisters and brothers stand in need of yes. our prayers. Amen. 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 Sir, desire.
praise is the body of Jesus and Chloe. Well. And we pray for Sister Mabel and Paul. Yeah. Sister Patty and Brother Don Sims. We pray for Sister Denise Towns and Patty. Brother J.B. George and his wife. Nobody but you 
gives us the money every day and the power to go on. Sometimes, Master, things happen in our lives that seem to zap us of our strength, designed to turn us around. But thanks be to God that you said in your word, when our strength is exhausted, we can draw off your strength. And thank you for knowing that where in our strength fails, your strength never fails. Oh God, we say thank you. Bless every name that was mentioned. You know all about this situation. Those who are sick, touch their bodies. Those who are in bereavement, comfort them. Those that are oppressed and oppressed. We pray to the difference for them. Oh God, we pray for those that are in hospitals, nursing homes, mental institutions, men that are confined in whatever institution. We pray that you would bless them and keep them. God, we pray for all of our children. Have mercy upon them. Bless us in this worship service. Let your spirit abide with us. Yes, yes, and help us to feel better yes. than you did when we came. Oh, yes. oh God, thank you for your presence thank you, among your people. Yes. God, we thank you that being in your presence alone yes. brings us joy. Oh, yeah. And you can speak to us. Yes. Amen. Even in this congregation, in the vision, Working things out for us. Oh, yeah. It's in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you. Our Christ we pray. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. He's working it out yeah. for us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We know the good thing about it, we don't know when and uh -huh. don't know how. But we can trust Him. That he's working in our behalf. You know, God is not held to no time clock or no cap. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it might be hard for us to believe, but God has already done everything he's going to do for us. It's already done. Amen. Because, you know, he's an all knowing God. Yes, he is. He knew before you was born. Lord, you just want to come on, come on. What you were going to yes, do. Yes, yes. So, that's what we already made for you. Yes, yes. Even before you came to that point in life, yes, yes. God had already provided. Yes, yes. Yes. And we are grateful for all that the Lord has done. Yes, yes. How many of you look back over your life? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. And just that. Paul said, I can.
Jimmy Stewart of what? That movie is a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Amen. And so his life in Christ is a wonderful life. Amen. It's a wonderful life. That's filled with blessings. Yes. And when I say blessings, I'm not talking about things. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Amen. If all you be thankful for is some money, then you're missing out. Amen. If all you can be thankful for is having a house, then you're missing out. Amen. Because there's so many wonderful things that the Lord provides for us. The joy of the Lord. Is my strength. Amen. 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 The Lord is good. Yes. Amen. 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 Certainly want you, uh, since the last time we've been here, this is Williams. Uh, what's this? Uh, Yama, is that right? Williams. Birthday was, did I pronounce that right? Yeah. 23rd. Amen. The service will be hoping and pray that she had a wonderful uh, birthday. Amen. God bless you. Our next Sunday uh, will be the fifth Sunday. And we'd love to have a guest uh, preacher with us. And we know that this month uh, we celebrate the harvest. And so we're not going to be able to do things like we used to do. And, uh, we knew that uh, some time ago. But we will recognize, amen, the harvest amen. on uh, next Sunday. We thank God for, uh, amen, our decorations. Amen. Amen. Deborah, Tia, Deacon uh, Johnson, and Brother Glassford, and Mike and some others who uh, helped them. I say helped them. You didn't do nothing but just come down and open the door. <laughs> you couldn't do it from the outside. Amen. 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 So we thank you for uh, your uh, help. And so we're looking to celebrate. Amen. And, uh, you know, a week or so ago, I was uh, getting. Brooks Bible College and uh, studying the Psalms. Amen. Preaching and teaching from the Psalms. And there's something that, uh, amen, that we talked about, and that was uh, thanks offerings. Amen. And I instructed to teach all over the world. He was saying that the people in Bangladesh. They understand thanks all things better than we do in this country. Mm -hmm. And some of the foreign countries, mm -hmm. he said for, uh, mm -hmm. for some of the service, some fellow might come mm -hmm. with a bag of rice mm -hmm. and put it on the altar mm -hmm. and say, this is my thank offering. Mm -hmm. The Lord has been good to me yeah. and bless me with a plenty. And I want to help somebody and bring a bag of rice. Yeah, right. Somebody else might bring you something else yeah. as their thank offering. Mm -hmm. And the thank offering is above what you pay tithes and offering. But it's offering just thanking God yeah. for his abundance yeah. and wanting to share. You know, and all of us can do that. You really don't need the church. But all of us go people. Uh, that's in our uh, what, purview or what that needs some help. Amen. 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 It might need some food. It might need some clothes. It might need something. Amen. And the Lord has blessed you in abundance. Uh, let me just challenge you today for the next week. And you don't have to come back and tell nobody what you've done. Why don't you think about giving a thanks offering this harvest? Amen. 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 You know, you're really blessed in your offerings when you uh, don't let the right hand know what the left is doing. 
this morning. Be not afraid. Be not afraid to let a dying soul know who signed you on. Be not afraid. Was the best
selection Amen. 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 Brother Marcus for yeah, yeah. selection that you yeah. put me through. Yeah. We thank God for you for his goodness. Yeah. Amen. From Paul's book, well, Paul from the book of Acts 17.
from wrong to right. Amen. The jealous Jews got a lewd fellows. Amen. Lewd uh, fellows. Amen. And set the city in an uproar. Where Paul and Silas had to leave town. There in the synagogue, they went uh, from Amen. They went over to B Beor. Amen. And we've studied this in our study of the book of Thessalonica in Bible study. Uh, they went to the next <coughs> city. But Jesus had told his disciples, look, if they won't receive you in one city, just yeah. shake your dust off. Shake your dust off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And keep on moving. Right. Well, they went to the neighboring city, and Paul preached the same gospel right. there. Yeah. And there were many, amen, to believe, including a number of prominent Greek women, as well as much men. Yeah. In verse 12, it says, honorable women, which were Greek and a few men. We've been studying this book of Acts and, and uh, preaching from this book of Acts. Most of the women that they talked about, yeah. it's been prominent women. Yeah, yeah. Last week it was Vivian, yeah, yeah. a seller of purple, a wealthy right. woman. Yeah. Amen. Prominent women. And much men. Amen. In verse 13, when the Jews at Thessalonica got word that Paul and Timothy and Silas were preaching over in the world, they went there. And stirred up trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Stirred the people up mm -hmm. against Paul. Mm -hmm. That's verse 13. Mm -hmm. And then 14 says, And then immediately the brethren sent away Paul to go as far as it were to the sea. Mm -hmm. But Silas and Timothy abode their steel. They stayed at the earth. Amen. Whereas Paul, amen, uh, went towards Athens. That's verse 15. And they that conducted Paul brought him to Athens. And receiving a commandment unto Silas and Timothy, come to him with all speed. It was for Paul's sake that he was sent away right. while Silas and Timothy mm -hmm. stayed. Yeah. Amen. And when we get into uh, that verse 16, and we're going toward what we want to talk about today. Mm -hmm. uh, now, while Paul waited for them at Athens, mm -hmm. verse 15, he's waiting on Timothy, Silas and Timothy. Yeah. And Athens while he waited. Amen. His spirit was stirred in him. His spirit was troubled in him. There in Athens again, he goes to the synagogue, the religious gathering meeting place, and even in the marketplace. Reasoning with men dead All right. that Jesus yeah. was the Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 18. Then certain philosophers and Epicureans mm -hmm. and the Stoics encountered him. Yeah. And some say, What will this battle say? Mm -hmm. Amen. What will this babbler say? One 
by the by to say what will this pseudo intellectual say? Right. Amen. He's saying to be a set up for a strange gods. Because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. They said he seemed to be a set forth uh -huh. of strange gods. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Verse 19. Uh -huh. Amen. They brought Paul into the Arab gods that they might hear and know this new teaching of Jesus and the resurrection. This was something new to them. Mm -hmm. Jesus and the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Amen. Verse 20. For thou bringeth, this is what people say, thou bringeth certain strange things to our ears. We would know whether Therefore, what these things mean. Strange things. Jesus and the resurrection. And verse 21. For all the atheists and strangers which were there, talking about it had Eric Eagles, which, which really is more still was there and spent their time in nothing else mm -hmm. but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Well, it was a place where people gathered. Mm -hmm. You had something new. Amen. Gather there and get an audience and tell of this yeah. new thing. Right. I don't know why I was reading that out of my mind all the way back home. As a boy, amen. And uh, at our local barber shop, which was mostly, you know, mostly like old men, mm -hmm. uh, men in the 70s. And, you know, uh, if you were 60 years old, you were nothing but a boy. Mm -hmm. And they had a, like a church pew out in front of the barber shop. Well. And they sit there and they talk and lie all day. <laughs> They talk about everything <laughs> and everybody. <laughs> Amen. They sit out in front of Amen. And they just talk. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I read the scripture in the Bible. I thought, and then I found out when you, even in the barbershop today, mm -hmm. I was at the barbershop on uh, Monday and I just kept my mouth closed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Brother had to throw it, he's going on and on. <laughs> He went from Martin Luther King, uh, smoking crack, and all the things, and, you know, just went on and on. Then went to the Bible, and uh, the barber you know I'm a pastor, and, and this guy know. And I sit there and I just listen. I ain't said nothing. What they say? Amen. Because sometimes things can lead into something. And, uh, and sometimes people have a tendency when you go public to try to draw preachers into conversations. Amen. That you do well just to stay out of it. Because some people there is no convincing me. They gathered at this place called really Mars Hill. Yeah. And verse 22. Amen. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill. Now you remember, he talked about the resurrection, and uh, you know, that was strange to him. So now, this meeting at Mars Hill gives him an opportunity to go in depth to what he was talking about. Then Paul, in the midst of Mars Hill, stood and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious 
some of your Bibles might have religious. The two superstitions. I like that word superstitions. Amen. Brothers and sisters, uh, uh, we need to uh, draw the line. Yes. Amen. You know, we have a whole lot of superstitious stuff. And some stuff we try to act like it come from the Bible. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, don't break the mirror. Yeah. Seventy years of bad brother. <laughs> don't walk under the ladder. Yeah. And I know in my day when people come a black cat cross your path. Yeah. You turn around and you'll cross the path with a black cat. Uh, and y'all know some of my folks folks had all those superstitions. Yeah. Yeah. Superstition is not the Bible. Amen. It's what it is, superstition. Amen. Help out with me. Oh, yeah. And family members, be careful how you hold on to a lot of that superstition stuff. Amen. Amen. You've been called to trust in God Amen. and in His Word. Amen. Not in Amen. Amen. Grandpa's superstition. Amen. Help out with me. Paul said, I perceive, I see that in all things, ye mm -hmm. are too superstitious. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Amen. For as I pass by, yes. in other words, Paul says, as I'm waiting on Timothy and Silas, it's like he took a, a uh, walk mm -hmm. through while I was passing through, I observed the objects of your worship. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Your devotions. He said. In other words, all of these statues and idol gods you have erected. A God for everything. As I pass through, I observe the objects of your worship. Listen. I even found an altar. Now he's on Morris Hill. Which was inscribed to the unknown God. You know, in Arlington National Cemetery, they have uh, what that monument or what to the uh, uh -huh. unknown soldier, the president or whoever places a wreath on every year at the uh, what on uh, Veterans Day or Fourth of July one of those days to the unknown the word, to the unknown soldier. Well, Paul said as I walk through your Amen city or through Athens. And I see all of these statues, all of these monuments to different gods. Let me see if I can. I came up on one that had an inscription to the unknown God. Amen. To the unknown God. Amen. Now the purpose of this monument to the unknown God was this. If we have missed uh, Amen. Any other God. Y'all with statues. If we miss anybody, we don't want to offend them. So this is their place. The unknown God. We don't want to hurt no God's skill. We don't want to offend any God. So we got to cover. This statue is to the unknown God. And that's what I want to talk about today. Amen. The unknown God. And Paul said, this unknown God, the God that you worship in ignorance. This God I preach unto you. This God I proclaim unto you. The God that you worship in ignorance. Amen. 
The unknown. God. That's our subject today. The unknown God. Listen. The God you can know. The God you should know. The God you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then to those uh, remaining verses. Amen. Paul preaches to them from this subject. The unknown God. Look what Paul says about it. It's all written in the text. Paul said this unknown God that you worship in ignorance he is the creator of all things. How I got a witness? That's verse 24. He's the creator of all things. He's Lord of heaven and earth. Have I got it? Amen. He dwelleth not in temples or shrines made with hands. Have I got it? In other words, there's no temple, there's no church, there's no building large enough to contain him. Have I got it? He dwelt not in handmade churches. Amen. The unknown God, Paul said, He is self sufficient. Mm -hmm. Have I got this? That's verse 25. Mm -hmm. Amen. He don't need, well, there's nothing we can do for Him yeah. outside of worshiping Him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's all sufficient, God. Yes, he is. Heard Him say, Amen. Psalms. If I was hungry, yes. I would tell you, right. for the cattle on 10,000 years yeah. belongs to me. Right. 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 I know God, Paul said, he is self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. He needs nothing, anything, or anyone right. to sustain him. Right. Now I got it. Amen. 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 Shut the church down. Lock the doors. Yeah. Amen. Have a God with you? God don't need our worship Amen. to sustain Him. He's going to be God regardless to what we do. Amen. Have a God with you? Amen. Amen. He's God. Yeah. Have a God with you? Then he goes on to say, It is He that gives life Amen. and breath. In all things to his creation. God is the giver yes. of life. Yes, he is. You know, it's good for us to learn that. Yes. How do I got it? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, I ain't worried about things in my life. Look, we got to learn that it's God that gives life. Yes. 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 Amen. Have mercy, Lord. If my daughter gets pregnant mm -hmm. and is unmarried, right. have we got a witness? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look, I need to remember mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. It might not have happened mm -hmm. the way I would like to for it to happen, right. but it happened. And it's God that gives life. Hell, I got a witness. We need to quit beating up on young people so much. We need to remember things might not happen the way we would desire for them to happen. But the bottom line is, it's God that gives life. Hell, I got a witness. How many of y'all still working on that? I mean, y'all still want to try to accept that. I might be upset about it. But then I need to remember that it's God that gives life and breath to all things to His creation. Have we got a witness? That's another. We the Psalm of Proverbs where it says, he opens his hands. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
and they are filled with much good. Your work with the hand satis and satisfies the needs of the poor. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Even the animal world yeah. depends mm -hmm. on you. Right. Now we got yeah. And then it goes on. This unknown God that you talk about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is this God from one man? Adam has made all men yeah. that dwell on the face of the earth. And he determines. Amen. The time before appointed and the bonds of their habitation. It's God that puts. Amen. The African where he wants him to be. The Asian. All nations of people. But he made them out of one man. Amen. Adam. Now we got with Amen. Regardless of your race, creed, nationality, we all come from one man. And if I flesh is pierced, we all bleed red blood. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And then look what Paul says. Uh, he is not far, verse 20, uh, 27, he is not far from every one of us. Y'all got all these statues and monuments. Amen. God is not far. In other words, Paul is saying to them, you can know him. He's not far from every one of us. Why build idols when you can have the one living and true God? You know, people are still building idols today. Have a God with us. When they ask us 20, Three and four, God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Amen. 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 Then he went on to say in verse four, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything in the heavens above or in the earth beneath or that is in the water. <coughs> under the earth. No graven image in the likeness of me. Have we got a witness? Amen. Let me stop here. Uh, once a uh, church, we had this church member, a godly sister, amen, and she took this, uh, she took this, uh, Exodus 20 and 4 to heart. You better not come nowhere close to the camera. <laughs> she looked at a picture as being a graven image. Right. And boy, if you get anywhere close to that picture, she's going to be covering up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> she took this to heart. Make no graven image. Even though she was uh, wrong, but she, <laughs> she believed that. How yeah. got a Amen. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Amen. In verse 29, I'm about to end. Why do you need not make uh, these graven images? In verse 28, uh, Paul said, For in Him, in God, we live. Amen. Every breath we take. In God, we move. Every step. And have our very being. For as one of your own poets said, Paul said, let me uh, borrow a phrase from one of your own poets. <laughs> For we are his offspring. Oh, yes. Have a God with you? Yeah. We are his offspring. Mm -hmm. Amen. And being that 
we are not silver. We're not made of silver. We're not made of gold. We're not made of stone or wood. Amen. amen. God, amen, our Father is not of such a gold. Have I got a witness? Amen. Then in verse 29, look at this. Amen. Verse 30. For the time of this ignorance, God winked at it. Amen. There was a time when God winked at some stuff. Amen. Paul said, the time of uh, this ignorance, God winked. Have I got a witness? Amen. He winked at it. But now, amen. God used to win at some stuff we used to do. But now, you know, we are no better now. So God ain't winning no more. Have a God with us. The time of this ignorance, God winked at me. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Have a God with There was a time when God winked or overlooked this ignorance. But now God ain't winning. Amen. God commands all men everywhere to repent because he has set a day. Thank God he set a day. And brothers, this ain't it. COVID is not it. No, this, this ain't so much God's judgment. God has set a day when he's going to judge the world in righteousness by the man he has appointed. Who is that man he has appointed? The man Christ Jesus. Have we got to get this? Amen. Look, Paul, Paul knows how to lose his audience. Amen. Amen. He said he's pointed a day he's going to judge the world by this man Christ Jesus. He has provided proof of this to everyone Come on. by raising him from the dead. Amen. 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 He's God's yes. Messiah, known one. Mm -hmm. And God has made proof of this by raising him from the dead. Mm -hmm. And here we go again. Mm -hmm. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead. Y'all see it in the scripture? Amen. Amen. They mocked him. They ridiculed him. How God did this. Paul was doing fairly well until he got to that point about the resurrection of the dead. He lost his audience with many and they began to mock and ridicule him. Paul had an audience until he spoke of the resurrection. Paul, it's like they said to Paul, Paul, that's enough for today. Hey, Paul, that's, that's enough. We have a hard time digesting this. That's enough, Paul. Yeah. Amen. That's enough. That was in the text. And we will hear you, we're going to give you another day to come and talk to us concerning this again. But that's another day. Have you got a witness? Amen. 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 But God, Amen. The unknown God. Amen. The God. No, he don't have to be unknown to us today. He didn't have to be unknown to those people back then. But today, we can know. Amen. The God we can know. And he's the God that we should know. 
Should you try to make, make every effort to know? And certainly he said, God, you need to know. Listen, you know God. God has made himself known of the man through his word. Through the Bible. There's no excuse for men not to know God. God has made himself known through his word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me out here. Yeah. God has made himself known from creation. Mm -hmm. From the creation of the word. Yeah. Where Paul says in Romans 1 and 20, mm -hmm. so they are without excuse yeah. because God has made himself right. known. He made himself known through Jesus Christ. But Jesus said, I come to declare him. All right. Amen. Amen. He's the God we can know. Amen. He's the God you should know. John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. The God you should know. And then the God you need to know. I mean, I know you need to know him. For there is no other name under the heavens whereby you must be saved. He's the God you need to know. Help me out with this. Amen. The God you need to know. If you want to be saved. Amen. In Leviticus 2, 9 and 10, we'll close here. Wherefore, God have highly exalted him. Satan exalted him one Friday on a hill called Calvary. He lifted him up between earth and heaven. Satan exalted him. Have a good idea. But Paul says, God had done greater than Satan for him. Satan exalted him, but now God has highly exalted him. Have a witness. And given him a name which is above every name. Have I got it? They have the name of Jesus. Every name should die. Have I got it? I said in the name of Jesus, everything should stop. Have a God with us. Not only that, but every time should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. How many know he's Lord? To the glory of God the Father. Have a God with us. Listen. A word of warning <laughs> might be somebody listening to me. Have never bowed the knee. Have never confessed his name. Have I witness? If you don't know him, have I got a witness? You ought to get to know him. Before bowing day. Because one of these days. Following day yeah. is going to come yeah. when every knee must bow, yeah. regardless of what you think about him now. One of these days, you're going to bow before him. Use his name in vain if you want to. Today, but one of these days, you're going to bow before him. Now I got a witness. I say you're going to bow. And while you bow, you're going to confess 
that go for me. They claim to and believe. Among which was dire leaves, the Arab got it. And here he is again. A woman named Demars. And others with me. So let us be mindful. Amen. Of this notion that uh, women can have a place in the Bible Amen. or play no hidden roles or points in the Bible. Because as we read it, we find out that that just was not the case. Now we got to read this. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. And brothers and sisters, don't let us not be caught up in idol worship. I word of an idol is anything you put before God. Amen. Could be a child, it could be a spouse, it could be a home, it could be a job, it could be a car. Anything you put before God becomes an idol. And God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And we read the rest of Exodus 3 and 4, he says, well, I am a jealous God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know God's a jealous God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God said, I want you all to myself. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Amen. 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 I want you all, I don't want to share you with nobody. Have a God with you. And God has the right to be jealous. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we as people, we be jealous. <laughs> Amen. Jealous of other people. Wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands. We be friends. We be jealous. And we don't have no right to be jealous. Because we didn't make nobody. Amen. We didn't die for nobody. Amen. But God has the right to be jealous. And it makes it plain in his word. He don't try to hide it. He says, I am a jealous God. And that means I want to share you with your own brother. God of anything else. I want you all to myself. The doors of the church are open and you're here know that Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you know that God, we come to let you know you can know Him. There's no excuse for you not to know Him. God has revealed Himself even in the very creation. And this is God we should know because He's been so good to you and blessed. And He's the God you need to know if you want to feel in that place called heaven. And you the invitation to come and accept him now while the blood is running warm in your face, while you have that activity about your gifts, and while you're clothed in your right mind, come to Jesus and while you have this change. You come out of that with the baptism of Christian experience. The day you hear my voice, Lord, not your voice, the doors of the church all over.
Amen. Amen. Amen.